Hello, good morning. Welcome to the Monday morning talk, Monday morning talk on uh, Facebook this morning. And as usual, I am excited to be with you this morning. I'm excited to be with you this morning. It's um, such a great, great moment. And this morning, we'll be talking entrepreneurship. We'll be talking business as well. We shared with you, I told you last week that uh, this season, for the next few weeks, I'll be talking about entrepreneurship. And I'll be talking what most people are not telling you. So get ready for an amazing time this morning. It's going to be super loaded. Wherever you are, please invite your friends and family. Invite your friends and family. So this is what I'll be doing right now. I'll be sharing this. Um, I'll be sharing this to my to the training center right now, and uh, because I have people waiting for us there as well. Okay, I have people waiting for us there as well so we'll be talking about no money build trust uh, trust is one capital that you can always take Welcome to the, the bank thank you madam amino grace jafflet for joining me this morning i'm so excited that you are already with us live so i think we're good to go now i think we're good to go now haven't shared that on the group please share with me where you are watching from and um, uh, also share please help me to share this on your wall please share with your friends invite them to this um, to this um, broadcast this morning you will love it you will love it so whether we like it or not this the issue of trust is is a big issue. I mean, it's it it is wrong. I, I consider it uh, a big offense for you not to have money and also to not to be trustworthy. Okay, there is a lot that trust can get for you that financial capital will not. In fact, to raise financial capital by any means, whether it's in the stock market or uh, private investors or by, by family and friends, you cannot take away the place of trust. Without trust, uh, you lose everything. You lose everything. I mean, once you lose trust of people, you lose everything. Thing that no matter what you have acquired or amassed, you've lost everything because there are places that money may not open the door for you, but your person, your name. Okay, I think there is a Yoruba proverb that says, uh, uh, any saw, saw one, no saw don't come, or something like that. If you lose your name, if you lose your character, if you lose trust, then you lost everything already. Okay. Um, so this morning, that's what I will be talking about. Uh, my focus, as usual, is always micro and small businesses, um, even medium uh, businesses, because uh, no matter what you have in your account, sometimes you have projects that are bigger than what you um, you can afford, and then you will need to withdraw from your bank of trust to raise the money that you need so sometimes it's not even about investment sometimes it's about getting enough business to fund your life to fund the business itself because if there is no income uh, then the business is as good as dead so this morning i'll start by telling you trust is a worthy capital trust is a viable capital don't waste it. Trust is a worthy capital and trust is a viable capital. Don't waste it. So we have two uh, outlines this morning because as usual, you know, I have a 10 o'clock meeting, so I must not exceed 
30 minutes. I would likely it'll be less than 30 minutes this morning, but it's going to be much, much loaded. Okay. So just two outlines we'll be discussing this morning, and they will be number one, how people lose trust capital, and then how to gain trust. So th these two will be the focus of our conversation this morning. Now, people can lose trust in you as a person or in your business from completely unrelated activities. So this is what I'm talking about. These people have never done business with you before. They don't even know the kind of business you, you run. Yet, they can lose trust in you. They can lose trust in your business from completely unrelated activities for example if you if you belong to a club maybe a social club or you belong to a church or you belong to a community people can choose not to do business with you by your conduct in church in club or in the community i mean because how you do one thing is how you do everything. And subconsciously, whether people know this quote or not, they, it, it is ingrained in people that how you behave is how you will behave, for example. Okay, so, so you're in church or you're in a club and you're not accountable. I used to be music director in a church and... And I used to share with musicians. You know, I'm a musician myself. And I will, I will just throw a little jab at musicians. Um, I see that the trajectory is changing. But there are still many musicians that are irresponsible. One of the bings of musicians uh, throughout my experience was not being time conscious. Uh, they felt that the whole world can wait for them because... Uh, or they feel some of them feel like the old world will wait for them because they are the talented ones they everybody needs to wait the big guys are coming and so they can choose to come into service anytime you're going to minister maybe in another state and everybody all the singers the driver everybody is ready you the last set of people to arrive will always be your musicians so i was sharing with uh with some of them during my tenure and I said, look, you have forgotten. You think everything starts and ends with music. But you will be surprised that there are people. Look, for me, no matter what you do, I will never do bad to you. You know, I will never take it out on you because I believe all of us are work in progress. But there are people in this church who do not even make, who don't make music, who don't, who don't even come near the choir stand, but are observing your conduct one day. One day, let me say the way I used to say. I'll say I, I, I used to tell them that sometimes you will you will think that everything you've done, uh, you've ex escaped. So you travel to somewhere as far as Indonesia, and you think nobody knows you. At last, you open the door to try and get something done as far as Indonesia, and you find a church member in Songwata, right there. Because you reverse say omilion, that means we flow anywhere. The way water cannot be restricted, water flows as it pleases. That's the way human beings flow. So if you think you are the only one from Songota who will travel to Indonesia, uh, you'll be shocked that people from your from your church, somebody from your church as well, is waiting for you there. If you are known to be irresponsible. You probably used to be a musician and now you are a medical doctor and you're trying to get something done, which is completely unrelated from music. You will find out that your past irresponsibility will haunt you in the future. So people lose trust in your business from completely unrelated activities. So please, your name, your person is a currency, is a capital. You have to protect it wherever you are, okay? Because where you will need to withdraw from, you, from the bank of trust uh, you, you have amassed, you, it may fail you, okay? All right, that's number one. People can lose trust in your business from completely unrelated activities. 
Number two, when you promise and fail as, as a habit, people will lose trust in you. When you promise and fail as a habit. Now, there is, I do not think there is any individual on earth that has never promised and failed. The Bible makes us to understand that it's only God that promises and can never fail. In fact, it says God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he a son of man that he should um, change his mind. Okay? So, I know that at some point, some of us, the best of us, will fail on our promise. But there are people that everybody knows that no matter what they say, they fail. I'll give two examples. I'll give two examples. Uh, one is of myself and one is of a client that I will not mention the name. Okay? So, myself, th there was a time we, this year, we, we, we were so clogged. The schedule was really clogged. And we were trying to meet up with every job. In fact, I wish we were in the office. I will have shown you that we're very particular about our delivery timeline. We're very particular about delivery. That whatever we tell clients we do. In the office, we have, we have a measure. There is a chart that we measure. It's called on-time delivery. So we check. It's not something we leave to the air. It's, it's, for us, it's not an art. It's a science. Because we need to measure it. So we take this very seriously in our business. But uh, this issue that happened to us was more of a blessing than a cause because we always want to have jobs. So we had so much to do. And there is a man, a man I love so much, that we couldn't deliver his job for time. I wish I can show you the email he sent to me when he got the job. He said, he said to me, thank you so much. We, the job, the quality is top-notch as usual, even though you delivered late. But I am not upset because I know this is not your character. So, it's alright. There is no need for apologies and stuff like that. Just, and for me, I felt good about this because this, this um, reinforces the fact that people know us, people know me as a person, as someone who never fails on his word. But because I am not God, things will happen. Equipment will break down. Equipment may not even be... What we had as of that time was that our capacity was not enough to handle... Um, the the jobs we had on ground and we were what we were like one week away from the delivery of the new equipment we were waiting for to meet up or to show up our capacity so we delayed in the delivery of this man's job it was gracious about telling me that he knew that this is not normal this is not our character okay so when you don't promise and feel as a habit when you don't promise and feel as when you promise and feel sorry as a habit, people will begin to lose trust in you. But if you promise at some point and you do not, I mean, and you fail, but because you have a long history of not failing, um, you will people will trust you more. Okay. The second example I want to give is there is a client that I know. She's a young lady, very amazing lady, doing wonderful things. And um, there was a time there was an order. There was an order for her books, but she was not liquid at the time. I trust this lady. I told her we will, we will produce. She's not even in Lagos. Uh, she's somewhere else where she can't even handle her deliveries. I told her we will produce these books. We will deliver. I will pay for the production. I will pay for all the deliveries till she's able to raise the money. That's a level of trust. I don't do this with everybody. I've learned so many lessons on this. But for this lady, I trust her because she has proven several times. Okay. So now the story behind this is that we truly produced these books. We delivered some. We sent some to a particular bookstore. Uh, unfortunately, 
she was not able to raise the money and she, she already gave me a date which was last week she was not able to raise the whole money at this time but guess what she did because she gave me a date she found one way or the other to pay a part of this the it, i mean it wasn't it wasn't like it wasn't even up to 50 percent but i was impressed why was i impressed the fact that i had already forgotten about this date but she never forgot this date she never ever forgot the date our world as far as she's concerned is our bond look we need so many people like this in in business who that even though the other person has forgotten they never forgot because they gave the word i was impressed i was not even pained at all do i need money i need a lot of money but that someone look you don't understand what is going on in this online space but someone will give you his word and still struggle to meet up with it i took that very very seriously as such a i mean i can do business with this kind of person over and over okay so promising and failing as a habit will make you lose trust capital now for those of us in business and especially those on in online business that write no refund policy on your bios on your on your on display fully displayed on your social me media you lose trust this way you cannot do business and say there is no refund even if there is no refund you cannot be brazen about it there are situations i've done i've bought stuff from jumia I've, i have very big feet i use 46 47 depending on uh, where the shoes are made i have bought beautiful shoes i chose 46 on jumia and they brought things that have been shoes that look like 42 i don't understand how it is done I have refunded to I've refunded I mean returned many things on Jumia and they refunded my money. Because of this I keep doing business with them. The quality of some of the things they have um, the, they have sent to me have been poor. But because of refund the fact that when you return it they will refund your money keeps me doing business with Jumia. I keep buying things on Jumia because I am sure that I am not entering one chance. If you keep saying there is no refund on your business, no refund on your business. I saw uh, somebody posted um, a conversation between herself and, the, and, the, and a vendor sometimes last week. And you needed to see the way this vendor was talking, angry and all of that. And was shouting, no refund. Sorry, we have produced it. We cannot refund it and all of that. Uh... I believe that people will lose trust in you when people see that you you don't take responsibility for failure in your process. I take responsibility. I believe that refund is not good for business. Is I mean, if, if you are having so many, if you are having to refund money, there is something wrong with your process. But it happens to the best of us. It happens to the best of us. Uh, sometimes it's not about refunding the money. It's usually how good businesses do it is you make up for it. There is something in Christianity called um, uh, when you when you when you maybe something you return what you've taken uh, that doesn't belong to you. What's that word, please? When you return something that you took that was, doesn't belong to you, like Zacchaeus and all of that. Restitution. Thank you. That's the word. Restitution. So, when you... It, restitution is a good thing to do in business. You may not necessarily return the money, but you must make the customer feel like a king. You must not rest till the customer is satisfied. But if you get to a point that there is nothing you can do, the customer just wants to get their money back, please refund people's money. Please refund the money. Okay, I am, I, I, I'm in a situation with someone right now. You know, uh, I used to feel like the way I do to people is the way people will do to me. I'm in a situation with somebody. This person wanted to give me a media, media publicity, excuse me. 
wanted to do something for me. Look, it was calling me morning, afternoon, and night to get this money. Okay, I sent the money. It was unable to deliver. It was telling me all manner of stories. For each time I call, I hear a different story. I say, okay, I'm no more interested in this. Refund my money. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been on this for almost five weeks. And there is no week that it tells me the same story. Every single week, there is a different story. Now, if this were the only situation, I would have said, okay, this, this is one-off. There are people. We, ha- we are having conversations about this person. Is an unfaithful person when it comes to money. I'm glad that I did only leave two business with him. And I would not even advise my enemy in the future to do business with this person. Look, these are young people. When you see people that, are, that, be, that grow old and have nothing to show for all their efforts in life, sometimes we don't know if they have lived their lives like this. I mean, you're young, you're still young, middle-aged, let me say. You're middle-aged. This is the time you're supposed to gather worthy relationships because of faithfulness in little things. These are the things that can help you in your future to guarantee a good future for you when you are older and you cannot run around. Yet, you are busy on being unfaithful to everyone that knows you, people that are close to you, people that know you from when you were much younger, you're still behaving to them like this. These are these are relationships that are 15 years old. This person is close to, I mean, is my wife's uh, friend's spouse of friendship of over 15 years and you are behaving to all of us in your environment like this. This is horrible. This is bad. It can make people lose trust in you. Okay, so that no refund policy or dribbling people is bad now bad reviews or no reviews about you at all will make people lose trust in your business if you if if people check you they check you online look everybody wants to do business with people these days even when you meet physically when you turn your back they pick up the nearest computer which is a phone because that's that's the that's the most interesting computer these days and they check you up when they check you up, nobody is saying anything about you. Or when people say things about you, it is bad things they say about you. I don't know. A bad review, as far as I'm concerned, is almost equal to when you have no review at all. You cannot be running a business, even if it's not an online business. Even if it is, let it be agriculture, you know, that you're not even doing online and not have people say things about you. You have to consciously make people say things about you. But if what they say about you is bad, then you need to, uh, you will lose trust. So watch out for these two things. Bad reviews, watch out for no reviews at all. They are equally dangerous. Both are equally dangerous, okay? So stay away from these two. Wow. I have six minutes to go, so I will quickly go to the next um, outline, which is how to gain trust. How to gain trust. It's almost like reversing how to lose trust. The first one is deliver on your promise. Be known to deliver on your promise. If you have seen my book, um, the, the shift, the first book I published, Shift, uh, you, I talked about in the, in the section that talked about branding, I talked about uh, making the promise and delivering on the promise. It's, it, it's, it's like Coca-Cola says, taste the difference, okay? And then you, you, you taste it and it's looking like every other thing. It is important that Coca-Cola makes um, the promise and deliver on the promise. If, if, if 7-Up says the difference is clear and you taste seven up and it's tasting like limka the difference is not clear okay so when you make a promise either it's a brand promise or a specific promise to um to a client do everything within your capacity to meet up with 
that promise. I received a tech an, a, a, a WhatsApp message um over the weekend. Now permit me to pick up my laptop and read this for you. Um I will not put a name to it, but but I will read it the way it is. So we sent this job as far as a boy. We had only seven days to deliver 500 books with high level finishing. Ordinarily, this would take two to two weeks or three weeks, um, you know, so that we take our time while we do other things. But this is what she said to me. The launching of the book was done yesterday. This is what she said to me. We had, we had it rocky during this period. But I never lost my cool. I never lost my guard. Uh, I stayed on the track because our name is very important. He said, firstly, I must appreciate you for having integrity. I wish I could put this. You will see integrity. She put it in capital letters. She said, people like you are scarce. Kindly share a link to your website. I will have my review sent in either on Monday or Tuesday. When I hear things like this, it makes me feel good. This is the kind of thing you should have for your business at all times. Look, I love to make money, but I would rather lose money than lose my name. Because with a good name, I will make all the money back. Okay, We, ha we bent our backs over to get this job done ordinarily based on our policy we shouldn't even try to get this job we'll just tell her you have chosen dates without even talking to printer sorry we'll give you in two three weeks maybe after collecting the money from her but that's not how we deal in print of africa everywhere we turn to this is it's the same thing we are told integrity and while we're not running facebook ads people are going all over nigeria talking about us a book is going to Kaduna this week. That one went to Ebony. These are places I've never been. But people, the Kaduna person was told by somebody in Ekiti. The Ebony person was told by somebody, I think, in Delta State. People are talking about us because they know that when you deal business with us, our word is our bond. Okay? Never promise what you cannot deliver just to make people happy. I mean, I see this. A lot of people that are into investments and all of that these days are doing this. I'm not talking about the, the, the outright thieves. I'm not talking about the outright uh, fraudsters. I'm talking about people who have honest intentions. But I've been told that until you overpromise, people will not believe you. So they begin to say things they don't have the capacity to do. Uh, please, just to make people happy, don't do this don't do this don't try to psych people up and then fail yourself don't fail your name don't fail your children don't don't let your name be a reproach in this world because the the the, the internet never forgets long before the internet people said i mean the, our forefathers said don't lose your name remember the son of whom you are now that internet is even here if let people forget, internet will remind them every year about the evil you have done. I mean, you see that reminder? Once it, there are some posts I made six, seven, eight years ago that still comes back as a reminder. Okay, so if I have I made a post about one evil that somebody did, that's the way it will be reminding me every year. Even when I don't want to keep record of wrongs, Facebook will com continue to make me. Even Instagram has that as well. To make me keep record record of wrongs, when I go on, it will pass it on to my children if they take over my uh, my my handle. There are some blogs, there are some blogs that their 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 job, their calling, is to look for whose name to spoil or whose name has spoiled and how to help the person enhance it, embellish it, and multiply it. Okay, don't don't fall for this, please don't. Whatever you do, don't collect people's money and fail. Whatever you do, please don't collect people's money and fail. Another thing is when you borrow money, please return this money. Don't ghost people. Don't disappear. That is a very bad habit. 
okay finally get honest reviews and show it off as much as you can God, get honest reviews you act you have to actively seek it you understand don't just use messages they sent to you on whatsapp ask them for their honest review i have so many things that people have said to me on my whatsapp that if i show it to the world it will bring many people to me but because it is not their official review sometimes i will ask is this your official review when they say yes i use it but they, when they say no or they don't answer it it means that this is just a conversation between the two of us you know i can refer to it like this but i will not use it and put their name on it okay so please actively seek honest reviews um, for your business it will do you a lot of good i have come to the end of this uh, conversation this morning i thought we won't be up to 30 minutes but here we are um i would like to see i have 18 comments already and two shares so i i want to i want to see the conversation going on right now thank you so much madam amino grace jafflet i am getting so used to seeing you on our broadcast i really 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 appreciate this that's yes she used the right word here get honest reviews and flaunt it thank you so much for watching us this morning um my name is ayodije badon and i am the founder of print doctor africa uh the first print on demand pool print on demand book publishing platform in sub-saharan africa I'm going for my meeting now. i see you again next week, Monday, as we continue this discourse on entrepreneurship. Do have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. Bye-bye now.